Hey everyone, Technomaterial with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to force restart your iPad Air 4th generation. So let's get started. So in order to do that, all you need to do is locate your volume up and volume down button and then the top touch ID or the lock button. So we need to follow the sequence in order to force restart it, which is different just normally turning it on and off. So in order to force restart, first thing is we need to press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down one after another quickly and then hold on to this touch or the lock button until the screen goes completely black. The screen will pop up where it says slide to power off but you do not need to touch the screen. So let's show you how that's done. So I'm going to press the volume up and release it and then volume down, press and release it and then I hold on to this top or the lock button here. And as you can see here, it's going to say, as I said, a slide to power off but you do not need to touch that. Just keep on holding that top touch ID lock button until the screen goes completely black and we're going to wait for that below to appear and that time we'll let go of that top button and this is known as a force restart which fixes uh, any or most of software related issue that you may be experiencing with your iPad Air. Now you can do this as many times as you need to. It's completely safe. It will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps. Everything will be still on your iPad. So go ahead and try it again. Again, it's going to be press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold on to that top button just like I am here. It takes get used to doing this method but it works similarly on most iPad with the newer all screen models as you can see here and you'll see that this fixes almost most issues software related on your iPad and this is no, Apple's number one troubleshooting steps when it comes to troubleshooting any issues you're having with your iPad as you can see here I have done it again without any issues and I'm back on with my iPad basically all it does is shut is that shuts down the iPad and then reloads the code and I hope this video is helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPad and other iOS devices see you guys and next time